Good morning and welcome to my new morning routine, summertime edition. I still get up at 7 every single day with my sunrise alarm clock. Again, this is life changing. The birds go off. It's so beautiful and easy to wake up. Then of course, I make my bed. You have to make your bed. Feel accomplished first thing in the morning. And who likes a messy bed anyways? Next, what is super new for me, and I swear I would never do this, is I get my workout clothes up and get myself put together. Just throw my hair up in a ponytail. And of course, hydrate. This is so important. As soon as you wake up, you need to drink a glass of water. If it's 9.5 pH, it's the best. But remember to drink water. You can literally see the bubbles. This water is alive. Then I click the 6.0 pH on my Kangen machine. This is beauty water and this is what I use to wash my face every morning and it replaces any toners that I used to use. I just put my contacts in and brush my teeth. You guys don't need to see that. <laughs> and I get ready to go on a walk. So I love listening to an audiobook or any type of positive podcast. I'm re-listening to Manifest now because it's that good. And then me and Mushu head out on our 30 minute walk. I am so blessed to still be living here two years later, right on the marina. It's so beautiful and calm in the morning. The one thing you really might only hear are the seals of barking, which is pretty hilarious. Walking in the morning is the best way for me to wake up and wake my body up because I started working out in the morning. So next I get home and it's time to work out. I'm using Heather Robertson's program free on YouTube. It's a 12 week program and I actually used this last year. I had really great results. And now that I'm cleared from physical therapy to do all activities, I am ready to get back into shape. We have a small apartment, so I'm over here on the side of our bedroom, but you have to make it work, you guys. There are just no excuses to not hitting your goals, to not doing what you want to do. I also track my workout on my Apple Watch, so let's go. I do love these workouts because she modifies anything you might need. So if you have any issues with your knees, obviously you can see how this one, you just wouldn't jump on this exercise. And she has a whole video with modifications if you need them. These workouts crush me. I am sweating at the end of them, but it's only 30 minutes. So 30 minutes every morning, five days a week. And on my off mornings, I love to stretch and do yoga. But that's what gets me through is knowing it's just 30 minutes and do the best you can on some of these exercises. My hand is still not perfect, like push-ups. I'm still doing knee push-ups. Make it your own and just try your best. I love at the end of these workouts, she does a cool down and she also does a warm up in the beginning too. So a little bit of stretching and what did I say? Don't forget to hydrate. <laughs> All right, so I take my sneakers off and then I actually meditate. So this is something new I'm doing as well is meditating after I work out. I've had some issues getting really into meditation this past year. It's been really hard for me to quiet my mind. So I like to put on some esophageal frequencies. I use insight timer and I use noise canceling headphones. I'll put a timer on for usually about 10 minutes and meditate, but the more you meditate, the more you want to, which is like the best feeling. I usually start with some deep breathing and then kind of sink into the meditation. But meditating after working out has helped so much for me because after you work out, your body wants to relax anyway. It wants to get back to its resting heart rate. You want to take a big breath and your brain is actually already cleared from working out. That is one of the reasons why I love working out is because it helps my anxiety, clears my mind. So adding these two things together for me in the morning has been really helpful for my mental health. 
All right, so I'll shower afterwards, just get myself together, put on my scar patches, and then I make my breakfast smoothie. I'm obsessed with this, it's so good. It's one handful of spinach, one banana. This one was frozen, I like that because it's pretty cold. Wild blueberries, a scoop of protein, some maca powder. I do about a tablespoon of that. Adaptogens powder, I use a teaspoon of this one. And also a teaspoon of spirulina. I've recently become addicted to peanut butter. The Santa Cruz one specifically is so good. And then I just sprinkle on a little bit of cinnamon. Lastly, just put some almond milk in there blend it and this is so delicious you guys have to try it next i'm just headed out to my balcony this is such a relaxing place for me in the morning and in the afternoons actually but i'll light either incense or palo santo and mushu usually curls up next to me which is also relaxing for me then I get into my gratitude journaling. Right here, I was actually taking some notes for my audiobook. But of course, in the morning, I'm still doing my gratitude. This helps me so much. And remember when you're writing down what you're grateful for, remember to say why. I'm grateful for this because, and that really changes the practice. That makes it a lot more powerful. I'll do my gratitude. I also do any journaling, anything that's on my mind, anything I feel like expressing, and then also my intentions for the day. And it's usually no more than three intentions. Only after all of this, and this takes about two hours, so here it's 9.30, is when I get started working. And I actually have a specific order that I do things in for work. So I'll check first my Telegram app, and this is where anyone that's building their online business with us, this is where our messages are. And we have a bunch of different group chats for different things specifically, like a Q&A chat or people building out their website that need help. And I'll check this first because this is my priority, you guys. This is what I do every day. I'll get back to any and all messages there. And next I'll go into Instagram. Lately, I've been sharing a morning quote and this just comes to me throughout the morning. It's usually just something I'm thinking about. And today's quote was, what can you release today that isn't serving you? So I share these most mornings and PS, I like to take the weekends off of social media. I think that's such a great way to detox, to relax and to not burn out. Next, I'll go into email and lastly, my Trello. I want to share Trello with you guys. If you do any type of online work or project management, this is so helpful. I talk to a lot of people and I work with a lot of people and it really helps to have everything organized with different labels, with follow-ups, with exactly the steps that we're in. And this is the specific way I start my work morning every day. The last thing I want to share about my morning routine is around 10.30, I will drink coffee. I used to drink coffee first thing, but I love nourishing my body with water and a breakfast smoothie before I drink coffee. I also found the most amazing creamer. I know I said this before when I love the silk one, but this is really, I'm never going to change from this one. This is the Sewn Organic Oat Creamer. It's delicious. I'll froth this and just add this to my coffee and get back to work. So I hope you guys love my new summer morning routine. Never be afraid to change things up. Try something new. If you guys have any questions on starting a morning routine or other things you guys would love to see from me, comment below. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe, and share this video with someone that might love it as well. I'll see you guys next time.